everyone enjoys sitting down to eat good food. And mealtime can be even more fun when a friend joins us. Until things get out of hand, that is. This greedy guest is spoiling mealtime by forgetting some important ways of behaving called table manners. Without table manners, mealtime becomes mess time. And we may become very unwelcome at a friend's table. Wouldn't you feel better by using good manners? And being welcome wherever you go? Whether you're eating at home with your family, or alone, or at school, or in a restaurant, or if you are a guest in someone's home. You should always use good table manners. Manners are important wherever you go. But why should we use good manners? Well, for one thing, they can help us stay healthy. For example, if we eat with dirty hands, the germs in the dirt can get on our food and then into our bodies, and that could make us sick. So, it's good manners and good sense to wash our hands with plenty of soap and warm water before coming to the table. It's also important to keep the place where we eat clean. Would you want to eat in an area that looks like this? Remember, we often share eating areas with others. So you have to think about the feelings of those around you and those who will be eating here after you leave. Eating slowly and neatly makes visiting with your friends a lot more fun. But where do good table manners begin? right at the beginning, of course. And that means setting the table. Set it nice and neat. Forks on the left, knives and spoons on the right. And not everyone uses knives and forks. But if you do, be sure to use them properly. Hold the fork in one hand and the knife in the other if you need to cut your food. Of course, some food is supposed to be eaten with your hands like corn on the cob or watermelon. But be careful with those seeds. Don't make a mess like Goofy does. You can eat lots of food with your hands on a picnic. But remember, make sure to wipe your hands with a napkin, not with your clothes. When you're eating with a group, you should wait until everyone is served before you begin to eat. It's never good manners to grab or fight over food. Always pass food carefully and politely. And keep your elbows off the table. Hey, you're eating too fast. Slow down and enjoy your food. And keep your face out of your plate. Only dogs and cats eat like that. Remember to bring the food to your mouth. And speaking of mouths, never speak when your mouth is full of food. Always remember the three magic words of good manners. Please, thank you, and may I. Try this! Oh, thank you! Food isn't a toy, so don't play with it. Keep in mind that some nice person went to the trouble of making your meal for you to enjoy. Honey. Instead, quietly leave it on your plate, but make sure you at least taste it once before you decide you don't like it. This is especially important if you're a guest in someone's home. And when you're finished eating, ask if you may be excused before leaving the table. Then remember to clean up your own eating area when you're finished. 
When you use good table manners, you'll show everyone you know how to behave at the table. Your friends will enjoy eating with you, and best of all, you'll feel good about yourself because you're eating the right way. Yes, like job number three.